rescue off, save the dinosaurs from an island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? Kingdom of Return, Jurassic World, one minute at a time. I'm Brad. I'm Dave. And here we are back to discuss Minute 42 of Fallen Kingdom. Before we get to that, David, heading over to Jurassic-pedia.com briefly. we got the article up here. We would have talked a lot about the Gullimomus in uh, Jurassic World with the uh, the Gullimomus Valley sequence there. So not a great lot to go into or uh, to focus on. Um, I am glad, though, that they kind of rearranged the model for Fallen Kingdom in Jurassic World, they kind of had like this very weird. There wasn't, there wasn't like a clear, distinct definition between the back and the neck, and it, it kind of just like coned upwards into its into the neck. <laughs> and in Fallen Kingdom, they kind of fixed that by creating a more distinct hump of the back against the neck, kind of closer to what we see in um, in the first Jurassic Park movie. And once again here, they're uh, in full gallop. We don't really see them stationary either to get a good shot. I'm just wondering again if we uh, if we see a couple standing milling around in the uh, Lockwood basement at the end of the film. But it, it is definitely a good improvement. I, I do remember we did talk mm-hmm. about that during Jurassic World Minute, just how weird the uh, the model looked when they're running running beside that Unimog. Mm-hmm. So for this uh, Go Moms um, article and many more, head over to Jurassic-pedia.com. Dave, we're going to get minute 42. I am. All right, minute 42 of Fallen Kingdom opens with a massive lava bomb crashing into the jungle, ends with Owen, Claire, and Franklin hiding behind a fallen tree. As we end minute 41, the volcano had ejected that massive lava bomb, which flew, uh, flew through the air and landed in the jungle near Franklin, Claire, and uh, shook the ground. As we open minute 42, as the two lock on shock, we hear the tiny voice in the background, Run! <laughs> And uh, we pan up to see the tiny figure of Owen running through the grass uh, with some compies in pursuit. Uh, <laughs> and he's con- continuously yelling, run, run. And um, it's not so apparent the danger that he's warning them about um, until it's revealed that the whole herd of herbivores uh, are right behind him as they come crashing out of the fiery jungle. We can see a Patasaur, Galbamus, Trike, uh, and Kylosaurus there as well, just to name a few. All in one group running from the volcano. Only now as it erupts, you'd think these animals would be far away from this eruption by this point. Oh, yeah. But <laughs> Interestingly, though, um, and just going back to Pedia real quick, we have a, this picture here, a uh, close-up of the Gallimimus during the stampede moment with the cinders flying past it, and you kind of get this... We never really get the Gallimimus in a clear shot where the whole body head to tail is free of motion blur but this one does kind of have a little bit more of distinction and i really got to say how well they did the model healing here i mean the skin you got the nice folds there nice clear patterning it really does look good Mm. definitely kind of has that like if i felt if i feel it kind of had that leather leather leathery pebbly feel to it you know yeah 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 still looking for a real feel going mama say Mattel. <laughs> yeah. uh, Claire and Franklin jump off the concrete pad that was the uh, the tunnel roof, and they all start running down the valley away from the speeding, uh, stampeding herd, or the volcano, or both. Uh, danger coming from two ways here. <laughs> as they run, we can see a uh, fallen log, not as iconic as the same one seen 30 years previously, but as the crew scramble around it, we can see that there's a gyrosphere parked on its side. I know, I know there's a lot of people ask the question, why Why is this gyrosphere here? We know from um, behind-the-scenes stuff with real tours and fans that visited the bunker set, there was a, uh, a secondary bunker there that was part of a gyrosphere maintenance station. 
And we know from Jurassic World that all the gyrospheres were out of the valley except for one, and that's in a completely different location to this. But there is concept art for Owen when he is standing in front of the uh, the bunker there, looking down over the valley. Uh, we do get um, some damaged gyrosphere concept art. Uh, different states of repair, decay, grass, vines growing over, and that sort of thing too. So, unfortunately, again, just something that was done in concept and uh, doesn't really flow really well into the film without knowing a bit of the backstory, a bit of the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. And not only do we not even really see this bunker, but like in the um in the photos that we do see, like the doors are slightly ajar in some sh- in some pictures. It's just kind of an empty blank room. But you can almost kind of imagine that this might have in fact been a it could have been like a access tunnel to the tunnels that we see in the uh, in the radio bunker and you kind of just roll the jar affairs were just rolled into this tunnel and they were and they rolled up to the garage or wherever you know mm. yeah yeah i think i remember one fan well someone that visitors said over there reckon there was a uh, a lift or a jurassic elevator um mm-hmm. inside the bunker doors as well just to go down to that that area but nonetheless we, we yeah we do have this dry sphere here uh it's on its side clearly hasn't been used for some time it's sort of interesting that it's on its side with the door open it's not full of water from all the storms that have been on nubla we do know later on when it does go into the water it, it seems to be pretty watertight but, but uh, as franklin catches his breath uh we get a long shot behind the tree as more patasaurs run towards him uh clearing seemingly to be a mile behind him but um as the minute ends, one of the Patasaur bursts through the far end of the tree, destroying it, and we'll get into some of these issues with this herd behaviour uh, next minute. Uh, looking at the novel comparisons briefly, as Owen comes into the clearing, he yells, I'd start running if I were you. Uh, as he catches up to them, Claire gasps, weakly left us to die, and Owen replies, me too, and Claire asks, where's Zia? And Owen says, they took her. As, uh, as he said that, they're uh, heading towards the Ocean Cliff at the base of the Sloping Valley. It was the only way out. Uh, we get some more dialogue here. But weird in the film, we don't really get anything until we get to the beach and Claire's allowed to sort of let her emotions come forward and it was all a lie. <laughs> Whereas in the novel, we actually get this conversation as they're running so they know what, what's going on. Owen, Owen implying that Zia was taken is sort of one of those weird things where he was unconscious the whole time and last time he's seen well mm. she was off camera when they were last there so well he also probably could have inferred from the fact that she wasn't there when she when he woke up you know <laughs> or she was tranquilized over behind another log somewhere and now she's dead <laughs> <laughs> true i think there's better that they cut this conversation from them not doing it when they're running but they could have done it while they were hiding behind the log. Like you have, you get these insert close shots of them having this conversation while the log is bursting up around them, you know, because when they're on that log, there's, they're not saying anything. Well, yeah, it exactly. would have been a good time to insert this dialogue. Mm. Yeah. And we'll get to it next minute. Maybe not have every single animal take a piece of the tree away, have, have them stampeding around and, Obviously, they're not in danger, whether this log's here or not. The animals are still going to not hit them. But, yeah, have the dialogue, have them, have them yelling at each other that, that, that Wheatley left us to die and this sort of thing. Mm-hmm. But, it, unfortunately, <laughs> it didn't happen. Claire spots a gyrosphere, knowing they need someplace safe while the stampede animals go by, uh, so they head for it. So we do see the gyrosphere in the novel before we actually get to it there. Um but that's it for the novel. That's it for minute 42. I think we've covered that pretty well. How about we get heavy for the week? All right, sounds good.